If you want to get started selling your digital products using beacons, then stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how you can set up your link in bio store with beacons. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, my name is Tisha and I teach you how to use online tools to help you create and sell digital products. Now, before we get started in the tutorial, let me give you a little information about Beacons. Beacons is an all-in-one creator platform. It uses the power of AI to help you build your online business. With Beacons, you can sell digital products, memberships, courses and you can book appointments it also helps you to create a link in bio website a media kit for all of the content creators out there an online store and email marketing and you can get started with beacons for free with their free plan there is a nine percent transaction fee for any sale that you make they do offer pro plans that you can upgrade to to get access to some additional features and depending on which pro plan that you upgrade to, you can eliminate that 9% transaction fee. Okay, now that we know a little bit about Beacons, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Okay, to get started with Beacons, you wanna to go to beacons.ai, go to the top right and click on sign up. Here you need to go ahead and claim your free link in bio. You can enter your username. So this is whatever you want your username to be. And it's going to let you know that that name is available with the green check. If it's not available, I suggest just playing around with your username to until you get the green check. Once you're ready, just hit next. You have the option to sign up with Google, Facebook, or Apple, or you can simply manually type in your name and email address to create your account. Once you've added your email information, it's going to ask you to add your socials. So you can just select any of the social media accounts that you are currently a part of. And once you're ready, you just hit next. And you're going to see several screens where Beacon is basically setting up things for you. So this next section, you can add your creator profile. It's going to ask you several questions. Just answer these questions. If you're unsure, you can hit skip. So this is what Beacons came up for me. I, it says Kevin Expert helping you level up. If you don't like that, you can do a regenerate and it's going to regenerate a bio for you. But I'm going to simply type in what I do. I'm just going to keep it like that for now. If you want to change your photo, you can change your photo. Once you're ready, just hit next. Next, you're going to receive a welcome message from Beacons and it gives you like what they recommend for your creator profile. And they also let you know, we'll use AI to help you get started. So basically they're using their AI tool to create your link and bio website for you. So we're going to go ahead and click with one lit. <laughs> we're going to click create with one click. So again, Beacons is showing me the recommended list. This is the link in bio, the online store, media kit, email marketing, and a Beacons website. Once you're ready, you hit start customizing. And you can select for pre-made colors. I'm going to try to go with something that's similar to what my color theme is with the purple. And you can also select your fonts. But once you've made your color and font selection, you want to hit continue. And before you set it up, it is going to prompt you to upgrade to the pro account. You don't have to upgrade at this moment, so you can simply hit skip. You can choose a custom domain name, and it will be based off the username that you selected in the beginning. Um, this is a pro feature, so if you don't want to upgrade to the pro account, you can select skip for now. And then you get your confetti and congratulations and welcome you to Beacons. Once Beacons has completed setting up your account, to access the link in bio, you want to go to the left-hand menu and click on link in bio. It's going to bring you to your link in bio dashboard. If you are using the free account, it's going to always prompt you to upgrade. You can scroll past that. And if you scroll down some, you will see your Beacons link that you can share so you click copy the link or just click share and then give you the options to share your link in bio over here on the right you will see like a preview of your beacons link in bio website now keep in mind that you can customize this so if you don't like how it appears don't worry i'm going to show you how you can change it okay 
To edit your link in bio page, we're going to edit our different blocks. Each one of these sections is called blocks. Okay, so we have some pre set up, uh, pre made blocks that Beacons has set up. Now, this is probably going to look different for each person because, like I said, Beacon uses AI, and depending on the information that you've entered, is what Beacons is going to set up. So if you have a block here that you currently don't see and you want to add that block, you simply click on the button that says add block and choose the block that you want to add to your link in bio page. OK, so we have the header and then we have our links to edit our links. You want to just double click it to add a new link. You want to just click add link and you just copy and paste the link that you want to add to your links. OK. If you have any links that you don't want to use that Beacons has is automatically added, you can click on the three dots here and you can select the delete link option. Or if you just want to hide it, you can toggle on the hide link and it will hide it from your link in bio page. OK, if you want to add an image to that particular link, it does have this option here. So you just click on that icon. You can upload your own image or you can choose the image from the options that Beacons provides. OK, if you want to rearrange your links in a particular order, you simply just click on these dots over here. And when the hand icon appears, you just click and just drag it into the order that you want that link to appear. OK, and as you make the changes here, you're going to see the changes on your preview over here on the right. Now to go back to all of our blocks, we're going to click the back button. It has the email sign up. If this is something that you want to sign up, you will go through those steps. Now to access your store, you want to double click the store. Again, if you do not see the store option, you want to make sure you click add block and then add the store. OK, because this is how we're going to sell our digital products. So you want to double click on store. So now it's going to bring us the options to add products to our digital store. OK, we're looking to sell a digital product. So you want to click on create a digital product. Now, once you click that, you're going it's going to bring you to your product page. And this is where you can add all of your content information for your digital product. Now it has a link. This will be your product link here. You can copy this link and share it anywhere that you want to share it. Um, keep in mind, if you want to edit this, you will need to upgrade to the pro plan. OK, it makes it very easy for you to edit your product page. All you have to do is simply click on the section that you want to edit and you're able to edit it from the right menu on the right. OK, so first let's go ahead and edit our title. So you will put the name of your product title here. Once you edit your title, it's going to show that it's been changed. If you want to change your price, you click on the price and you add your price. And you have a couple of pricing options. You have a set price, pay what you want, make it as a sale or market as a free product. OK. Next, once you after you enter in your price, you can also choose your currency based on your country. Depending on your digital product, if you want to have a payment plan, you will need to upgrade to the pro account. OK, now Beacons actually uses Stripe in order for you to receive your payment. So you will need to connect your Stripe account. And if you want to add a discount code that you want to share and give your customers a little bit of a discount, you just click on the plus sign and you add your discount code. And once you add your discount code, you hit save. Now let's go back to the top because we're still editing the top portion. So we're going to edit our call to action button. You can change this to from buy now to any other call to action that you want to use for your digital product. So now I'm just going to leave it as buy now. The next section that I want to edit is to add an image. So let's click on the pencil. And it's going to give us the option to add an image or you can actually embed a video. You can upload your own image or you can use images from the options that Beacons provide. I'm going to add my own image. One of the things I like about Beacons is that you can actually choose the layout style of the image. So you can have a portrait style or a landscape style and you can also choose your ratio. So this very this helps with trying to figure out the the size of your image because Beacons is going to format it to whatever size that you choose. OK, 
So I'm going to choose landscape and 16 by 9. Once you've made your selection, you hit accept. And you can add multiple images to get rid of this stock image that or this image holder that beacons enter. You just simply go over here to the right and select delete image. Are you sure? And hit delete. And now you only have the images that you've uploaded. Okay. So now that we scroll down, it has our title, it has our image, our price, our buy now button that we've already added. Next is to edit our product description. So we click on edit. You can add a product description that you wrote or you can use with their AI generator. You can add a couple of keywords and generate a product description with their built-in AI tool. Okay, so, and this is what it gave me. If you wanna use this, you simply click use it. If you wanted to generate another idea for you, you could click try again, but I'm just gonna use it. Again, we are doing a tutorial, okay? All right, so this is what our page will look like. If you want to see a mobile view, you can go over here to the top right and you can select the phone icon and it's gonna show you what it looks like from a mobile phone, which I think is very important um, because it's mobile responsive and most of your customers will probably going to access your link in bio from a mobile device. And if you also wanted to just preview the full page, you would click on this icon here, and this is what your full product page would look like. Now, if you're done with designing, if this is all you want to do, you can leave it at that. But if you want to customize it a little bit more, you can go over here to the top left and click on design. They have a few layout features that you can choose from. You have the classic view. It looks like this. This is the landscape view, which kind of looks like this, what we just previously used. And it also has a dynamic view or layout, and it looks like this. You can also customize your colors. You can choose pre-made color palettes, or you can simply click on these different circles and choose your colors, okay? If you know your hex codes, you can paste your hex codes here. You can also choose your font style. So they have a different variety of fonts that you can choose from to fully customize your product page to fit your brand. So next, let's edit our checkout page. Go to the top and click checkout. This is what your customer will see once they are ready to purchase your digital product. Okay, now you see here it says payment is not available. This credit has not connected any payment methods. Please check later. So if you publish this without connecting your Stripe account, your customers won't be able to purchase your digital product. So you want to make sure that you connect your Stripe account before you publish your digital products and share it with your customers. Okay. Next is the success screen. So this is what your customers will see once they have made a purchase. If you want to edit the message, you can click over here and you can just type in whatever thank you message that you want to add. And then the next thing that you can edit will be the email receipt. And this is the receipt that your customers will receive in their email inbox after they have made a purchase. You can edit the subject line, you can edit the actual email message, and this is what your customers will see. You can request a review, which I think is very helpful Reviews help sell your digital products, so you can toggle that on. Wait, there's one thing we forgot to do, and that's to add your digital product file. To do that, you wanna to go to the top right and click Product Files. To add your files, you click Upload File, and you have up to six files that you can add to your digital product page, okay? Once you add your file, if you again, if you wanna add another file, just click, click on Upload File, once you're done, you just want to hit exit. Now we've completed the digital product page and setup. You want to hit publish. Beacons is going to give you a little congratulatory message. All right, so to get back to your link in bio, you want to click on link in bio, click store, and you're going to see that your digital product has been added. And this is what it looks like on your link in bio page. Okay, now once you've added your 
all of your links and your digital product. If you want to customize this a little bit more, let me show you how to do that. So let's go to the top, click on design. First, you can choose your layout. Currently, I have the classic layout. You can do a portrait or you can do a banner. Uh, I personally like the classic look. You can change out your profile picture. You can also change the shape of it. So if you want more of a square shape, you can do that. You can add a logo if you have one. You can add your social icons here and we scroll a little bit more. You can also choose your header format. So you can keep it vertical or if you want a horizontal view, you can change it like that. You can choose from pre-made color palettes. So if you don't want if you don't like these pre-made colors, you can scroll down to the bottom and change out your colors. You can generate a color palette by clicking their AI option. If you like that, you can keep it. If not, you can click on each one of these circles and change those colors to match your brand colors. Each circle represents a section here over here. And once you click on it again, you'll be able to see that preview. Okay, the next option that you can customize is your block style. So you can change your links to have a square, round, or you can create like a custom. The next option that you can customize are your font styles. So you can simply just click on the font style that you like and it changes it. This helps again, make it more customizable to your brand. This next option is a page pop-up option. This is optional, you don't have to choose that. You can click, keep it on no pop-up, but if there's a particular product that you wanna promote, you can click that option and add that product's information. And then we get to the bottom. You have your share options. You can toggle that on and off. You can also toggle on and off um, subscribe button. And if you want to hide the Beacons logo, you will need to upgrade to the pro account, okay? Now, if there's anything that you've done that you don't like and you want to undo it, you have to scroll all the way down here to the bottom and click undo, and it's gonna undo the last thing that you've done. So you've added your links, you've added your digital product, and you've customized your link in bio. The next thing is to share it. And again, to find your Beacon link, you wanna go to over here to this right-hand section. You can click the copy icon, or you can click share, and again, these are your different options to share your Beacons link. To see your Beacons page, you wanna click on this icon here. And this is how your link and bio page could link. Okay, friends, so that is how you can get started selling your digital products with Beacons. Now that you have your digital product store set up, to find out a few ways that you can promote your digital products for free, check out the video that is on your screen. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.